The development of entrepreneurship in rural areas has become a priority for our country. Due to the increase in production volume, the incomes and living standards of the inhabitants of rural areas will increase. About three-quarters of the rural population in the Republic of Moldova, especially the elderly and women, depend entirely on activities related to agriculture. The objectives of the International Fund for the Development of Agriculture are to provide financial assistance for the development of rural areas areas in order to eradicate poverty and ensure food security in underdeveloped countries. The Republic of Moldova is one of the first Commonwealth of Independent States countries to become a member of the International Fund for Agricultural Development, and the result of our IFAD-funded projects currently serves as an example even to other countries. Since 2000 and up till now, agreements have been signed and seven programs with a funding portfolio of about $95.3 million have been implemented. In the late 90s and the early 2000s, the situation in Moldova's agriculture was dramatic. In the last 10 years, no modern irrigation equipment or any modern equipment had been imported. It was extremely expensive to access credits. At that time, the government of the Republic of Moldova addressed to several international structures to support the agricultural sector. In the early 2000s, we managed to access the first loan from IFAD international institutions. In 2001, the Consolidated IFAD Program Implementation Unit CPIU IFAD was created in Chisinau. This unit has proven to be very effective. Over the years, this project has become extremely useful for agricultural producers who have had access to much accessible and affordable finance, access to consulting services, access to scientific results, and at the same time have demonstrated that the Republic of Moldova has the best potential to implement this project correctly and efficiently. Today we can proudly see the photos of agricultural producers from Moldova, which tells how effective this project was for our country and for the agriculture of Moldova. IFAD works with several organizations, including the World Bank, regional development banks, and other financial institutions, several of which jointly co-finance IFAD projects. It also provides direct financing through grants and loans on favorable terms. The first projects were financed only from IFAD sources with the contribution of the government of the Republic of Moldova, and with each new project, new funders joined. The contribution of the government of the United Kingdom of Denmark, which co-financed a non-reimbursable grant of approximately $10 million to finance young entrepreneurs, the Global Environment Facility with a grant of $4.26 million to finance measures to adapt to climate change. The results obtained in the 20 years of activity are also due to the involvement of the trusted partners of CPIU IFAD, through which the IFAD program were implemented in our country. Over the past 20 years, 4,976 loans have been granted, creating over 20,000 jobs, on preferential terms and loans totaling $81.79 million, including 905 loans with matching grant for young entrepreneurs up to the age of 35, who have decided to launch or expand their business in rural areas, 1,051 loans for small and medium-sized enterprises. I received 1.5 million lei. It was enough for me to plant this vineyard and take care of it until it bears fruit. The impact from the credit was positive because we reached our goal. We obtained good quality, we went out to the sales markets and the exports increased. We exported to the Commonwealth of Independent States and European countries. It should be mentioned that the priority activities implemented within the program are oriented in providing financial services for the development of entrepreneurship by offering medium and long-term loans, including micro-entrepreneurs financed through savings and loan associations. My name is Eduard Gojan. The collaboration with CPIU IFAD is fruitful. We have a very nice work practice. We signed our collaboration on March 16, 2017. From 2016 until now, we have 175 beneficiaries in the Inclusive Rural Economic and Climate Resilience Program. 
EFAD program supports the development of the entrepreneurial and marketing capacities of the producer groups within the profile associations from various value chains, such as aromatic and medicinal plants, sheep and goats, milk production, table grapes, bee products and berries. The role of women in society is essential, and women's experience contributes to improving the standard of living in our country. Today, more and more women are choosing to be independent and become professionals in their activities. CPIU EFAD, within the program it implements in the Republic of Moldova, provides women with the necessary support to develop or diversify their business. That support focuses on two dimensions – non-reimbursable funding and technical assistance. Another important area in the EFAD programs is the development of economic infrastructure by awarding competitive grants to be invested in construction and rehabilitation of infrastructure projects. Dozens of localities and producers have improved their situation by building roads, water supply networks, gas supply systems, irrigation systems and several agricultural markets have been opened. My name is Viktor Makri. I am proud that in collaboration with CPIU IFAD we build a valuable object on the territory of Saharna Nova village. The application was submitted to CPIU IFAD in 2018 and in 2020 all the works for the water storage basin were completed. We have water in the field. We can water the surrounding orchards way better now. With the more frequent occurrence of drought and other natural hazards, CPIU EFAD aims to show the potential of conservation agriculture and support the generation of knowledge and investment of farmers in rural areas in order to promote systems and sustainable technologies for agriculture that increase resilience to climate change. <laughs> We are in the protective forest shelter belts that we planted in 2017. It was taken into account that the soil is degraded, has a loamy soil and we have hilly relief. There is a danger of landslides. The trees took root. Also, for the purpose of training and implementation of conservation agriculture, we created 11 field farmer schools and over 3,000 agricultural producers were acquainted and trained. A lot has been invested in the development of agricultural value chains by providing informational and financial support, consultation and technical assistance in developing business plans, organizing trainings, sharing the best business practices, especially for those who do not have the necessary experience in starting a business. FIDA programs are one of the most valuable partners for the government of the Republic of Moldova, especially improving the quality of life in rural areas. During the 20 years of implementation since the first EFAD program in the Republic of Moldova, eight financing agreements have already been signed. During 20 years of partnership with the EFAD fund, a whole series of valuable programs have been implemented, which have really made a great contribution to the rural environment, to the agricultural and food sector. As a result, the entire national economy of the country. Starting with the year 2021, the EFAD 8 program will be implemented. I would like to wish CPIU EFAD team success. They have always been a reliable partner. The Ministry of Agriculture will always support the implementation of EFAD programs and I just wish CPIU EFAD team good luck. CPIU EFAD is determined to continue the achievements obtained in those 20 years of activity by creating new possibilities for other success stories based on new interventions. Through hard work, perseverance, responsibility and tenacity, things change in the rural areas. And this is the desire of the villagers.